What's up everyone? This is Squigs and we are back again with some more how I learned to stop worrying and love the how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. I believe it's that's called uh, Doctor Strange love reference. Again, I don't really know it. It's by Zizizijin, <laughs> whatever his name is. Sorry, buddy. Sedilgen. What do we got here? There's no way in hell I'm getting that dragon coin. So please help Mario Bowser destroy destroyed all the trees in our forest with his bombs. You must stop Bowser for us. That is a cool way to get a dragon coin, but not happening. I will definitely lose more lives than gained on this endeavor. It is not smart business sense, and I can't authorize it. What do we got here? Lots of bombs. I expected at least a level like this in the hack. No, we're not gonna hold them. That got us into a lot of trouble in the first level. Not fucking around with that. Oh, look at that dead vine. That is not a healthy vine. God damn you, invincible block. Oh, good thing I was invincible. Invincible beats invisible, but you still can bounce your way to death on a bo bomb. That's okay. We still have five lives. I really don't want to run out of lives because we will be trying to scramble back here afterwards. I have not found a good way to get infinite lives in this hack yet, but that's acceptable because we're two levels in. Let's see what we got. We got some munchers. Didn't see that coming. Okay. Let's see. Taking our time. Hop. Hop. Not too hard, right? You might say it's easy, even. Mmm. I almost picked you up out of instinct. I need to hold things. Nope. But not the bombs. They don't love you. Like the other creatures do. Oh my god, I thought I, I thought I could hop him. I've heard that there are uh, the hitboxes for the para para goombas and para bobombs are a little bit wonky though. But they're not very often used in hacks actually, because they take forever to get to the ground. It doesn't really. God damn, he blew up my shell, buddy. Doesn't really uh, pay off in the end, I don't think. Like right here, it's they're actually placed pretty well. What song we got here? I don't know. Couldn't tell ya. Oh, come on. There we go. Get rid of him. And we're seeing new lands already. What a wonderful place it is. A mushroom. Or a fire mushroom, flower mushroom. Hooray. Oh my god. That was something lucky, if I've ever seen it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now we're getting a little bit intense. We're doing this Zildjian dance here. Okay. I don't know where to jump and I don't like it. Um, I ended up not paying attention and losing my life like a fool. But who can you blame for that? Me or the guy that set up the blind jumps? There we go. Not too bad that time. Just got to do a little screen scrolling. I, again, don't know how to get that. Maybe another kick of some sort. I don't know. We're getting into the craziness here, I think. I think we're going to ramp up in the upcoming levels. Shit's getting serious, but bombs are blowing up the forest. Let's stomp this dude out. Oh, it was a trap all along. Don't trust giant coin arrows. <laughs> I can see how I was supposed to get that one. Lots of ledge jumping in this one. Neat maneuver, but I, there's no way I would get all the coins if I had to jump off ledges and knock things. Not on my first try. I could do it. Yeah, maybe if I did it enough, I'd get good at it, just like everything else. Who the hell knows? Anyways, wow. What happened there? The event got a little fucked up, but that's fine. It's all good. We got a little pyramid, the Golden Pipe Desert. A mysterious pyramid. Ooh, a pipe pyramid. Hold, what? What song is this? I don't know, it's, it felt strange at the beginning. Oh well, we'll figure it out together. Anyways, this reminds me a lot of Super Mario 3. Not the music, but the level like that. They had all those little pipe mazy levels. A few of them anyways, not all of them. Yep, get rid of you. Get our coins that we need so badly. Nothing here, no secrets, nothing. I'm a little surprised by that. I don't know about you. Seemed like a little area for something. But I guess our reward was, wow, lucky spin jump. Our reward was the three coins, I suppose, and the satisfaction of knowing there is one less Volcano Lotus in the world. Oh, Chuck! Oh, Chuck, why must you do that? Three, four, f oh, four from you. 
I didn't know till recently that these guys throw different amounts of baseballs depending on where they're positioned on the X, the X axis. Uh, I asked in Ninja Boy's comments, and he was nice enough to uh, respond to me. It's a cool little nifty fact for you all. So if you're making a ROM hack, it does matter where you put those guys left and right. God damn it! I should have had that. I should have had that. Kick this guy. Oh my. Four from you as well. Well, what do you know? I'm a liar. <laughs> no, that fact is true. Regardless of the evidence that you are pre presented. Okay, alright. I get the picture. Can't go back though. Not that way. Ah, this is one of the toughest challenges yet, apparently. Okay. Um, can you kill him by dropping stuff? I don't think you can, as you may, as demonstrated. This is what I should have been doing. Shell is way better than anything else in this game, and if this guy wasn't smart enough to know that people dupe blocks, he wouldn't put he would put his all his fucking power ups for me to duplicate. But that's exactly why they're doing that, I think. Put that up there, and that down there. Pretty fucking sweet deal. Yep, just drop it on the chuck, and he's gone. It literally knocks problems out of your lives. Nice, and we got a second fire flower. See? The shell is everything. What do- Oh my god, we got more broken events. What do we got for our timer on this episode? It's super short so far, we're just burning through shit- And they gave me a save! Thank you! Well, we're going to Bowser's Castle, so I guess it's over. It's one of those short but sweet deals. I actually like that. I like that. What do we got? Bowser's Note. gua ha 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 You'll never get to me and my bomb in time, Mario. Also, I have captured the princess as well. gua ha 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 All right. I got plenty of time, it looks like, so I don't know what you're talking about, Bowser, but we should probably get there with time to spare, I think. Um... No, this is gonna be tricky, I can already tell. That first jump is nothing to fuck around with. <laughs> and we got the glitch the glitch escalator shooting the fireballs from the ceiling. Because it fucks up the X and Y. That's in the vanilla game, you can just do that. I really love Yoshi's Island music. Yoshi's Island I like even more than Super Mario World. Gasp, I know folks. Only as a vanilla game though. As far as ROM hacks go, I Super Mario World's just the community is way better. The hacks are better and more varied because of it. Although Yoshi's Island has has some, and I would like to start trying them out as well sometime. If anyone's got a Yoshi's Island hack, please send it in. That would make my fucking day. I know there's not too many of them out there, but that would be amazing. Send me your hacks at gmail.com for anyone that's interested. Um, that would be really fucking cool. And that goes for any game, by the way. I will play any type of user-made levels or games for any type of old ROM. That's good with me. I've played a few more on the side. Like, Zelda has a pretty good community, the first Zelda. That was uh, an old favorite of mine as a child. I've made quite a few Zelda Classic levels, if anyone remembers the site Zelda Classic. As I'm sure some of you must. Um... Oh, this is a tight thwimp spot. Yeah, that was one of my first level-making design pieces of my life. I think it was absolutely the first, actually. That was my that was probably what first got me into uh, game design and level design like that. Yeah, I think I think it really was the first one. And then, oh, what, what do we got here? We are the abandoned minions of Bowser, barely seen throughout his latest escapades. We are confined to this cave. This should be interesting. Let us see what lies await for us. We already fried whoever it was. But yeah, as I was- Oh, yep! Mecha Koopa did not come back afterwards, actually. God damn it, I needed that. Oh, Ninji, yep. This is- Oh, what an awesome theme for a level. All the forgotten- All the forgotten enemies or whatever. I don't think I can get through here now without taking damage, which is kind of disappointing. But, uh, we tried anyways. Oh, we got this to make sure we can get out. That's nice. Not gonna trap us. Be a nice little one-up bonus game where you might get trapped. No, that's never. You should never trap people in your level, actually. <laughs> that's bad, bad, bad level design. And, uh, like I was saying, yeah, Zelda Classic was the first community I got involved in. And then I started messing around with C programming in high school. And I learned how to, like, make little games in the console window. Like, just with, uh, ASCII characters and shit like that. Let's see if we can bounce up here. Almost. God damn it. So bad. 
Yeah, so I made like a little Pac-Man clone, a little Rattler Race clone. Um, then I did like a little adventure game where the screen scrolled around and shit, and um, it was kind of like an old top-down adventure, roguelike almost, but not roguelike. It just looked like like rogue because of all the it had that kind of feel to it. And from there, it just took off. Now I like Python to make games. Python's a lot easier to use than C for me, but I, I miss C, I'm not gonna lie. I never knew like even C Sharp or C++ or anything like that. I knew a little C++, but mostly it was just C, so... It was quite simplistic by today's standards, or really bare bones and thorough. <laughs> thorough is the word I would use for C, you have to do a lot. Okay, we got Bowser. This shouldn't be too bad. Yep, and then after when my Python programming came my love for ROM hacking, Super Mario World in particular, but that one came on fast. <laughs> what do you got for us, Bowser? Just a couple of Mecha Koopas? You are very standard and uninteresting. But that's how Bowser fights go in ROM hacks. I'm not trying to knock it or anything, I'm just saying he's nothing nothing to be afraid of. With these boss fights, there's not really much you can do with them. Gotcha, buddy. And it doesn't matter, because Bowser by himself is more than enough to kill me. I'm not very good at the base game. Alright, let's get speed this up a little bit. Zoom away, yes, yes, yes. Everything's oh so sad for Bowser. Alright, let's see. I learned that I should be hopping onto these things and just staying there. I always get fucked up by those flames. Oh my god. That is just lewd. Unacceptable. <laughs> I might have to fucking do some editing. I didn't get a good look at that. I hope I'm not gonna have to do- I don't know how to edit out stuff like that, so... That could be bad. <laughs> god damn it. Alright. Gotta watch out for those fucking hackers. Those hacker pervs. Come on now. Give me my Mecha Koopas. You know the drill. God damn, I don't even know the quick way to kill him. Like, I just don't know how to do it. Because <laughs> I haven't done enough 11 exit where it fucking matters to kill him quick yet. I'm lucky just to beat the game. Let's see if we can do this. Yep, I think he's got one more for us, if I remember. And then we get Mecha Koopas. Or this might be it, who knows. Nope, these are already the Mecha Koopas. God damn it, so bad at the timing. Oh my god. Give me the balls, Bowser. One more. Yep, and now... Mecha Koopas? It's a dangerous game I'm playing, fast forwarding. Give me the Mecha Koopa, please get hit. Okay, now fly off into the distance. Yep, and we sit and kick this Koopa. Make sure he stays asleep for as long as possible. Kick, 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 kick. Okay, and now, fire hop. There we go. Playing it safe. Okay, we'll grab that. Oh my god, I'm cornered! Oh, you killed him! He was your friend, man! You are heartless, Bowser. This I have lost all sympathy for you. Like, I understand that you hate Mario, but, like, you shouldn't hate your, your supporter. Well, no, he's a robot with the key sticking out of him. He probably doesn't even have a soul. Alright, guys, so I accidentally fucked up my recording last time doing this. So that's why you got that weird cut right there. <laughs> um, I held the fucking fast forward button down on my keyboard because it fell off my goddamn bed where I'm recording on. Anyways, we've beaten the game. I'm not sure anymore if Peach is supposed to be nude. She looks like she's wearing some sort of fucking brown dress. So, whatever. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I wanted to show you the credits because they're changed, but I fucked them up the first time and they were going super fast and I couldn't figure out why. It's all because of my stupid keyboard falling off the bed. Anyways, let's get to them, at least. And here we are. How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bob-omb. Main Director's Decision. We got... Oh, those are probably some real sound credits depending on who made the songs. Special thanks to the fine folks at Super Mario World Central. 
Original idea, Dr. Strainlove, also known as How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, by Stanley Kubrick. Oh, I've heard that name before, but again, I've never seen it. Okay, so it's a great film. Well, the end. And there it is, my friends. We have beaten How I Le How I Learned to Stop... What you we beat the game. We beat Dr. Strangelove's game. I hope you had a good time. I like this one. Short but sweet. You know, it looked nice. It had a bit of a challenge to it. Um, I could use a few more one-ups, but that's because I'm... It's because I suck at the game. It's not really the creator's fault. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it too. As always, if you have anything that you would like to submit to me, something you made yourself or something you'd just like to see, send me your hacks at gmail.com or just write it in the comments. I will definitely respond to anyone that comments on my videos. So you can always use that angle to get in touch with me. Anyways, friends, thanks for watching as always and have a wonderful afternoon.